Robinson Savion does not want to return to Honduras if he can't get asylum in the U.S. It's not so much that he's concerned about the violence and lack of opportunity back in the town of Santa Barbara. It's because he dreads the 3,000 mile trip home. Some migrants I meet describe a relatively easy and uneventful journey in the caravan north, not Robinson. I met him at the El Baratal shelter in Tijuana and in his quiet, brooding manner, explained how his feet hurt constantly from the seemingly endless trip and there were anti-migrant protesters who threw rocks at him and his fellow travelers along the way. He says five children in his group died. A two-year-old was crushed in a stampede of migrants, two were hit by a car, and two more rolled off the back of a truck and died when they fell asleep. Robinson, 26, was particularly affected by seeing a pregnant woman trampled by dozens of other migrants at one point of the journey. She miscarried and later died. Robinson also told me an unsettling rumor other migrants I've interviewed mentioned that many young people went missing from the caravan because they were kidnapped for the organ trade. Robinson says he'll go anywhere there's work. He does gardening, electrical work, and despite a shaggy mop of hair, he's a barber. Robinson cuts hair at the shelter for two to three dollars a client and rents out his scissors, comb, and electric clippers for extra money to another migrant barber when he's not using them. Robinson grew up in a loving religious family in Honduras. He was the baby of five kids. And he says if he's lucky enough to find a job, he'll send money back home to his parents. When I asked him what the most important thing he took with him on his long trip to Baja, California, he replied, my memories. <laughs>